hello friends today we will see the next part of unit 1 that is measurement standards and design of gauges these are the contents of unit 1 here we are going to learn today accuracy and precision these are the terminologies which are used there in measurements so we are going to learn today the different terminologies which are used there in measurements so basic terms related to measurements of measuring system are as follows accuracy precision sensitivity calibration interchangeability reproducibility repeatability magnification drift or stability least count uncertainty range or span and last one is discrimination so these are various terminologies which are used there in measurement let us see one by one so first of all we will see the term accuracy accuracy what is meant by accuracy accuracy is defined as the maximum amount by which the result differ from a true value that is closeness to the true value is called as accuracy see we know that the purpose of any measurement is to determine the true dimensions of given part true dimensions of given part means what whatever design values of the components are there generally those are theoretical values or those are the desirable values so we call them as true dimensions or true values but none of the measurement can be absolutely accurate because we don't get always the true dimensions of the part or component there is always some error while measuring the dimensions the difference between the true value and measured value we know that that is called as error so accuracy may be defined as the closeness of a measured value with the true value accuracy compares the measured value of a manufactured component with its true value the true value means the specified value of a component before the start of the production means it is generally there on the design drawings or design sheets so we call them as true value measured value is the reading or value obtained after inspecting the actually produced component therefore the accuracy is defined as the closeness of measured value of the component produced with its true value the act of measurement should indicate the true dimensions of a part but in actual practice no measurement can be absolutely accurate therefore there is always some error and the amount of error or inaccuracy depends upon the various factors more the error less will be the accuracy of that measuring instrument or measurement process and vice versa second terminology is precision precision has no meaning for only one measurement but it exists only when the number of measurements are carried out for the same quantity under the identical conditions so for any set of measurements the individual results obtained may vary slightly from the mean value lesser the variations in the measurements the more is precision therefore precision is defined as the repeatability of the measuring process for example if numbers of measurements are carried out for a single quantity in identical conditions identical condition here means by same observer with the same instrument and within short interval of time and all the readings are close to each other as well as the mean value then the readings are said to be precise so precision it is the less variation in the measurement if there is less variation in the measurement then the system is called as precise measuring system if the instrument gives you the readings which vary very less from each other then we call that instrument as precise instrument also see uh, i will give you here one example the example from the epic mahabharata 
वी नो दैट द्रोणाचार्य वॉज द गुरु और वी कॉल इट एज टीचर फॉर कौरवाज एंड पांडवाज सो वन डे ही एग्जामिन ऑल कौरवाज एंड पांडवाज बाय टेकिंग द एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ ऑल दो स्टूडेंट्स दैट इज कौरवाज एंड पांडवाज सो वेन ही वॉज टीचिंग ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स आर्चरी देन ही टोल्ड ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स टू टारगेट एट द टू कॉन्सेंट्रेट एट द टारगेट सो फॉर दैट पर्पज ही हैज टेकन वन एग्जाम्पल ऑन अ ट्री देर वॉज अ बर्ड सिटिंग ऑन द ब्रांच ऑफ दैट ट्री सो द्रोणाचार्य कॉल्ड ईच एंड एवरी स्टूडेंट एंड आस्क हिम वॉट आस्क हिम टू टारगेट एट द बर्ड बट मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स मीन्स फ्रॉम कौरवाज एंड पांडवाज दे टोल्ड दैट दे आर ऑब्जर्विंग डिफरंट थिंग्स अलॉन्ग विथ द बर्ड्स सो दे वेर टेलिंग वॉट दे वेर ऑब्जर्विंग बट देर वॉज देर वॉज वन स्टूडेंट ऑफ द्रोणाचार्य वी नो हिम वेल दैट इज अर्जुना so arjuna told dronacharya that he was only observing the bird's eye where dronacharya has told him to target or concentrate so if we see arjuna was uh, so we can say that arjuna was very accurate as well as precise hence he could judge what was exactly the target but others other students means other other from uh, other than arjuna other kauravas and pandavas they were telling the other things also means bird tree branch and other things so they were not concentrating at the target it means among those students arjun was the most accurate and precise student so in the same way uh, measuring instruments which are there they also have such property that is accuracy and precision so the instrument which gives us very accurate values we are going to call it as accurate instrument and we call its accuracy is higher whereas the instrument which gives repeatedly good uh, results or readings then we call it as precise instrument so accuracy and precision these two terms are very important from measuring process point of view there are some other terminologies also let us uh, see accuracy also accuracy is how close a measured value to the actual value whereas precision is how close the measured values to each other and the mean value so examples of uh, precision and accuracy i have shown here uh, in this diagram see here i have shown the circles and their centers and the center is heated but first figure if you see which tells us low accuracy and high precision because the value to be uh, targeted that is the center of the circle but the target is not the center of the circle here all the uh, targeted values were different but all those targeted values are near to each other that's why first figure gives us low accuracy and high precision if you see the middle or second figure then we will see that all the targeted values which are there or actual values which we have obtained then those are near to the central value means target value but they are scattered one so this figure shows us high accuracy but low precision whereas the last figure that is third figure it gives us uh, see the actual values which are obtained there at the mean value that is the central value of the circles so it is and and secondly all those values which are there those are very close to each other so this third figure gives us high accuracy and high precision in this way accuracy and precision can be understood by 
using some examples this is the difference between accuracy and precision so accuracy is the agreement of the measured value with the true value of measured quantity whereas the precision is the repeatability of measuring process it shows how well identically perform measurements agree with each other second is accuracy is concerned with the true value whereas precision is concerned with the mean value precision has no concern with the true value third is it is difficult and expensive expensive to have good accuracy whereas uh, it is much easier and cheaper to achieve the precision than to achieve the great accuracy fourth point is high accuracy cannot be obtained with low precision whereas high precision can be obtained with low accuracy so we will move to next terminologies also so see here accuracy and precision already i have defined here next is sensitivity sensitivity of the measuring instrument it denotes the smallest change in the measured variable to which the instrument responds third uh, next terminology that is calibration the process of framing or checking the scale of the instrument using some standard is called as calibration so calibration is the important process in uh, say in framing or, or in the measurement process the process of framing the scale of the measuring instrument by making use of different standards you can use different standards such as line standard in standard or wavelength standards so by making use of these standards you can calibrate the instrument and one thing is that well calibrated instrument gives us more accurate as well as precise readings next one is interchangeability the ability to interchange various parts of an assembly at the time of assembling so this interchangeability feature which is there it is most important because nowadays to cope up with the demand of mass production the manufacturer component should be interchangeable for example replacing the replacement of mobile or laptop charger of the same company replacement of the engine parts of the same company replacement of the gearbox uh, gears from the gearbox of the same company or same vehicle so these are the some of the examples where interchangeability concept can be applied the next terminology is reproducibility it is the quantitative measure of the closeness of the agreement between the results of measurement of same parameter carried out by changing the method of measurement operator instrument and other conditions so this is in simple words the instrument or the measuring system or process whether it is going to reproduce the same or more or less same set of readings under the given conditions or not so that characteristic is called as repro reproducibility the next one is magnification the system or arrangement of the instrument to increase or magnify output so that the instrument is more readable we know that some of the instruments they give us the readings whenever they are going to measure a quantity whatever output signal is produced it is very weak that output signal if it is very weak then it cannot be observed or it cannot be sensed by the uh, measure, um, measuring instrument so in order to sense it and in order to be more visible each uh, that signal should be magnified so whatever system which we apply for magnifying that signal so that it is readable that process is nothing but the magnification process then drift or stability so it is the ability of an instrument to retain its performance or calibration throughout is specified operating life means during the life of the instrument the instrument should retain its performance it should give always a better performance or it should retain its calibration so that it should give the more accurate as well as precise readings so this characteristic of instrument is called as drift or stability then resolution that is list count the list count of any instrument is taken as the resolution of the instrument the smallest reading measured by an instrument is called as the resolution of that instrument or it is also called as 
the least count of that instrument the next point is uncertainty of the instrument it is that part of the result of measurement which states the range of values within which the true value is estimated to lie see here uncertainty of measurement or uncertainty of measuring instrument we know that the instruments uh, always give slightly different values from the measured quantity with the repeated instruments the uncertainty of measuring instrument or measurement is that part of the result of uh, measurement which states the range of the values within which the true value is estimated to lie it denotes the degree of accuracy with which the measurement has been made so it is always difficult to find the true value of the quantity to be measured hence instead of specifying the measurement error the range of error is specified and that range of error which we specify that is called as uncertainty of that instrument suppose uh, for example suppose a ring is there and a ring is having a diameter of say 40 plus minus 0.5 mm then it means that the diameter has a nominal value of 40 mm and it is going to vary in between plus minus 0.5 mm uncertainty that is 40 plus minus 0.5 mm that is say 39.5 mm and 40.5 mm so this plus minus 0.5 mm value is known as uncertainty in that measurement the next is range of span the minimum and maximum values of a quantity for which an instrument is designed to measure is called as range or the span of that measuring instrument so the instrument has limitations generally the range it can start from 0 up to 100 it can go beyond 100 so what are those values which are specified for a measuring instrument uh, between means i will say that maximum limits and minimum limits of the quantity to be measured those will vary in between this maximum and minimum values so that total maximum and minimum values of a quantity will represent the range of that measuring instrument or measurement process the last terminology is discrimination discrimination is the ability of measuring instrument to react or to respond to small changes of the measuring quantity so if measuring quantity is going to change by very small amounts then it is the ability of the instrument to respond to such small changes of the measuring quantity if the instrument is responding in a well manner to such small changes of measuring quantity then we can say that that instrument is having good discrimination parameters if it is not responding or if it is responding in a slower way then we can say that that instrument is having less discrimination so these are various terminologies which are used there in the measurement so these are some reference books references which i have used so i hope you have understood these terminologies so we will stop here today thank you